Hi everyone, how are you this evening? This gorgeous evening, Wednesday, no it's Tuesday, what am I talking about Wednesday? Tuesday night! How are you? We're going to have a really great session today. If you're on the replay, welcome, welcome. Um, if you're listening live, I'm just going to give it a few moments for everyone to start to come into the room. I'm doing a live healing session tonight with you, a theta healing session around um, self-love and sensuality. I'm also going to do a card reading. I haven't done a live card reading for a while. Do you remember I used to do these all the time for people? I just haven't had the time, to be honest. Um, but I'm going to do like a general reading for all of us, which I'm very excited about. Um, if you're watching live, just click hello in the comments. Or if you're on the replay, click hello in the comments as well. And let me know where you're watching from so I can give you a shout out and I'll uh, come back and reply to all the messages if this is on the replay. If you don't know who I am, I'm Jade Diamond. Hi, I'm a pleasure and intimacy coach and I'm the author of international bestseller, uh, Abuse to Abundance. I help stuck singles find their soulmate and struggling couples get juicy and reconnected. And I really help people recover and their sensuality and just really snatch their sexy back and really become friends with their body again, love their body and feel good with the body that they have and feel good in the skin that they're in. Hi guys, hi Norfolk, hi Ash sweetheart, hi Kelly. Um, do share this um, video out. So today's healing class is going to be, hey Melissa, all around um self-love and sensuality i was reading a quote i think it's by audrey lord and uh, it said in a society that profits from your self-doubt liking yourself is an act of rebellion and i've really been holding these last few days this concept of rebellious self-love in my heart that self-love as a, as a rebellious act. Um, self-love as an act of resistance against our current order, let's say. And when I think about that, it excites me. It really excites me because that's something I want to be part of. You know, it's something I want to be, it's something I do, it's something that I embody, it's something I've been teaching in my women's circles for many years. Self-love as an act of rebellion. And then self-love just purely as an act of self-care. You know? Because our society does profit from your self-doubt. So who would you be without that? It's a really important question to ask yourself. Who would I be without this self-doubt around my work, around my relationships, and around my body? And the reason that I'm so passionate about teaching people positive body image and helping people heal when it comes to their bodies is because it really uh, dramatically impacts everything that they do with my clients it really impacts them when they're dating and when they're thinking about um, entering into relationships or just entering into the dating world what I find is beneath the surface of oh it's just not working oh I haven't got the time oh I'm too busy is actually this fear that they don't like how they look and they're worried about being naked with a partner or they've got this message from somewhere, or maybe it's just within them that their body's not good enough, and therefore they don't think that they're good enough to have the kind of partner that they really want. And so the, the, the mind tells them all kinds of tricks <laughs> to keep them away from what they, from a perceived possible rejection. It also prevents people showing up in their career because they don't want to put themselves forward and think, oh, well, when I've lost this weight or when I've gained this muscle or when my body's this particular shape, then I can go and do X, Y, and Z. Then I can wear this, that, and the other. Then I can stand at the front of the room and do the presentation. Then I can get into my purpose and be visible on video. Hi, Jane. Um, because I'll look a certain way and I'll fit in. It's usually high, highly better if you don't fit in, to be honest, because then you get noticed more. But of course, that requires a lot of internal self-confidence and being able to um, be in a space of self-love. And the more that you love yourself, the more that life reflects this back to you. Because life is not 
reflecting to the things just that you say, it's reacting, the universe is reacting to how you really feel. And when you feel unshakably confident inside, absolute magic happens. So it's really important that we get in right relationship with our body. And so some of you probably realized in this, uh, or seen in this last few, probably in over like this last week, that I've been posting a few pictures that are very different from me, you know, showing more skin. And um, there was one where I was completely naked, covering all the important parts, but completely naked. And this part of a challenge that I did, which was about sensual selfies, and it was a push for me. And there was a lots of internal conversation um, going on for me about what people will say, what people will think, what the judgments will be, why am I doing this? Um, and it was very freeing in the doing of it. And it was very celebratory in the doing of it. And it was very, it was like another step on this reclamation, you know, going deeper into this process of reclaiming my body. So it's been a very beautiful process for me at this time where I'm being really called to fully step up, to step up and to be seen and to be unashamed and to be unapologetic and to be fierce and to own myself, you know, all of myself um, and not hide myself, you know? Mm. So that's that. So let's get on with the card read and then we're going to do the theta healing and I'll tell you about that. So I'm going to uh, draw a couple of cards with messages. I'm actually using Lisa Lister, uh, Lisa Lister's Sashi She Oracle deck. We'll see what the cards have got to, oh, that one wants to come out. Oh, see, now look, what was I just saying? Hi, Marjorie, darling. Bear, literally the first card that came out, bear, after what I was just saying about taking these sensual photos and it was a push for me it was a real push for me so this card is bare so what's coming up for me that um, with this is bare naked truth is the first thing that comes to mind and as I was shuffling the cards before I became live the card that fell out of the deck was truth so in this um, eight to nine days is the uh, number I just got in these next eight to nine days there will be truth that's laid bare and this is the time for you to lay your truth bare this is the time to show up in a fully authentic way and to really dig deep into the body really dig deep into the heart and ask these good questions why am I doing this what is serving me what am I doing that's not serving me any longer thank you for your hearts guys um, what are the truths that I need to tell? And what are the truths that I'm avoiding? I feel like this is a call for you to step into your power in the most authentic way, which is absolutely an act of rebellious self-love because it takes courage to be unapologetically yourself and not just try and fit the mold of what society tells us that we're supposed to be. But your, your authenticity is your personal medicine. Who you are is a gift. You're exactly as you're supposed to be. It doesn't mean that we're not always evolving, because we are. But you're evolving into the perfect version of you, which looks like me. It's all about your own authentic truth, absolutely. And then not forcing that on anyone else, but just standing in your own. Oh, ciao! Passion, look at this. Passion. Oof. So, with this authenticity comes passion. So, what I'm getting is to allow your passion to be seen. Oh, very nice. Hi, Eugenia. Let your passion be seen. Let it be felt. Don't hold yourself back. Stop trying to tone yourself down. Allow yourself to be passionate. And the people who are for you will be right with you. Does that make sense? The people who are for you will be right with you when you are authentic, when you show up, when you let your passion be seen. It's like allowing your heart to be seen.
what I'm getting is that for some of you, you're going to really engage in the brave act when it comes to relationships in particular in this next week. A brave act. Courage again, coming back to this place of courage. And just really being passionate about what you want and what you stand for and who you are and the kind of life that you want to live. And I'm getting that you kind. some of you have um, lost a bit of the passion in your life. And you need to just regain that. Like, what are the things that make you feel really good? What are the things that light you up? And that's definitely one for me. Less work and more play. <laughs> or at least squeeze the play in. Is this resonating, guys? Let me know in the comments. Oh, another one popped out. Oh, love it when they pop out. Div oh, can you see? Divine. Divine, divine, divine. So we have bear and passion and divine. So to really sit in your authentic, passionate nature and be one with the divine. Wow. Deep authenticity leads to deep divinity. You are a divine being. That's the message for this next this next however long you are a divine child of the most high god and you deserve every good thing you deserve every beautiful thing and so what i'm feeling is like some of you have had this feeling of being rejected being rejected by people because of your beliefs or your religion or you didn't fit in or Perhaps you're like a bit of a, a misfit, as Eugenia would say. Perhaps you are someone who has questioned the status quo of this current society that we live in and felt like you were less than because of it. Or other people made you feel, tried to make you feel like you were less than because you're sensitive, because you have an open heart, because you question authority, because you question... Um, the current workings of our society this is a very strong message for you to really know own and honor your own divinity and to know that you're needed that you're respected that you are loved that you have a team of angels and guides and all around you assisting you all the time so don't let's call on our angels now calling on our most high light and love angels our guardian angels our solar angel who has been with us from the beginning of time from the beginning of all of our incarnations calling on the ascended masters and our guides our personal guides our intergalactic guides at the highest light and love vibration calling our team to us now to really help us feel the sense of divinity and belonging maybe this is what we need to start the healing with yeah really help us feel and know that we are divine, to know that we belong, to know that we have soul family, sangha, and really help us to find and connect with and know how to communicate and be in harmony with our sangha, our soul family, and really know how it feels to belong, really know how it feels to be divine. Thank you, thank you. Okay, so that's our reading. What a beautiful reading it was. We're going to start with the healing session. Um, so I'm working with theta healing tonight. Um, so the way that it works is I'll just go into a meditative state. If you just give me like two whole minutes, I'm going to connect to divine source energy. And we, we all have the possibility of doing this. And from that place, I'll be able to tune into the group, um, both on both live and on the replay. And I'll be able to tune into this group and find out what we need that's going to help bring us into a deeper sense of self-love and sensuality. Because a lot of us are a little bit disconnected with our sensual self. We can have a lot of judgment. We can have a lot of fear, actually, around expressing ourselves in a sensual way. We can... Um, be disconnected from this part of who we are because we're so stuck in the mindset of like material world and having to do things and, and ticking off a checklist you know so i'm going to tune hi emma 
I'm going to tune into the group. Um, and the way that it will work is I'll, I'll connect to divine source energy. And from this place, I'll call the healing and like downloads, we call them, where we can release things from the consciousness and bring new things in into every cell of the body and every part of the being. And when I ask, would you like to know, you just say yes. Would you like this to be removed? Would you like that to be removed? You must say yes out loud because it's divine free will. Can't force you to have any healing that you don't want to. So you must say yes out loud. And then the healing will happen. So maybe just close your eyes and feel into your body and feel what, what will shift. Um, there's some clients of mine who are watching now and they'll testify to how powerful this work is. And uh, I'd say my life has sped up dramatically in the last 12 months um, since I started doing this work. So I'm just going to connect up. Give me um, a couple of minutes. Hi, Lisa. If there's a particular problem that you're having around your sensuality and your self-love, write it in the comments. Because I've, after I've done the first, this is only for you who are alive, after I've done the first kind of a couple of downloads, I'll check the comments and see if there's anything there and, and see if I can work with you, okay? Okay, can we just download you with our oh, unconditional love to start this healing session? Just say yes out loud. <sighs> Sweet. Wow, some people who are watching this have got this belief that they don't deserve any kind of unconditional love. Can we, so can we show you how it feels to know that you deserve unconditional love from the divine and that you're allowed to have an experience divine unconditional love and show you how it feels to experience unconditional love. Remember to say yes. So let's start with this theme of divinity. So when we're in a place where we can feel divinity and feel divine within, we can surely access this place of self-love. So can we show you how it feels to connect to the divine, how it feels to be connected to the divine, and how it feels to feel the divinity within yourself, to know that you are divine and know how it feels to know that you're divine on every level. Remember to say yes. Can we remove the belief that you cannot do feel divinity if you feel sadness. I feel that some of you have some got a lot of sadness in your body and you don't know how to exist with the divinity and the sadness. So can we show you that your divinity can exist with any other emotion and that you don't have to be either sad or divine, that you can always experience this feeling of being connected to the creator, connected to divinity and having divinity within yourself no matter what emotion you're feeling.
Can we show you how it feels to know that it's possible to be sensual and radiant and be safe at the same time? And show you how it feels to feel safe in your body while you're feeling sensual, while you're feeling sexual. Let me show you how it feels to know that you're allowed to feel sensual, that you're allowed to be a sensual being, a sensual woman, a sensual man. You can remove the belief that your sensuality and your sexuality is something that you should be ashamed of and instead show you how it feels to have that celebrated, how it feels for you to celebrate that within you and how it feels to have other people celebrate that about you. Can we show you how it feels to know that it's possible to love yourself and how to access self-love in your life and how to access the support that you need to really see yourself as a divine, beautiful, loving being. Can we show you how it feels to feel sensual in your body, how it feels to feel sensually radiant in your body, how it feels to enjoy your own sensuality. Okay, um, beautiful, so that's going in. If you've got something in particular you'd like to work on, do you want to write it in the comments and I'll see if we can do that. Usually when one person kind of acts as a surrogate, I can offer the healing to the whole group and it works really, really well. I'm just going to connect again and see what else is needed while you write. Oh, the belief I am broken is there. Can we remove the belief that I am broken? On any level, through your ancestry, through any lifetimes. And actually seeing it on like a collective thought form. I've got this belief, I'll never be fixed, I'll never be healed. Can we remove that? Can we remove the belief I'll never be fixed. Remove the belief that I'll never be healed. I'm going to show you how it feels instead to know that you can be fixed, you can be healed. You can be the most awesome version of yourself in this lifetime, quicker than you ever expected. Passion. Tell me about passion. What is it you want to know about passion? Ooh, so I've got relationships are hard. So I guess this is in relation to the sensuality. Ah, so some of you shut your sensuality down because of difficult relationships. And so there's a resistance to opening your sensuality because there's the belief that it will lead to a difficult relationship. Ooh, this is kind of there's so many webs in this, I can feel it. Let me let me just go into this a little bit more because if we can start to shift this, it'll be beautiful. Well, not if, we will start to shift this. That's what I'll do. First of all, can we remove the belief that relationships are hard? And that you must hide your sensuality in order to prevent being hurt and show you how it feels 
to be sensual and be celebrated in that sensuality by a partner and show you how it feels to feel and to know that relationships are easy, relationships are joyful, relationships are loving and that you can have that. Can we show you how it feels to, to know that it's okay to spend time loving yourself? It's, okay, it's okay to give yourself time off. It's okay to give yourself rest. It's okay to give yourself care and how it feels to really care about yourself. How it feels to really love yourself. Remember to say yes. Okay, I've not seen any of you in the comments write anything that you want to work on. I'll give you another couple of minutes. Um, see if you want to work on something. Write in the comments now. So I'm seeing if I allow myself to be a sensual being, I'll have to deal with too much unwanted attention. So can we remove the belief that your sensuality means you have to be sexual? And that uh, remove the belief that if someone sends sexual energy towards you, that you must act on it. And instead show you how it feels to be a sensual being within yourself and have very strong boundaries and to know how to say no and to know how to be sensual without leaking sexual energy unconsciously let me show you that one to say yes and show you how it feels to be a sensual being just for yourself and to have that really respected by other people how to have your sensuality honored by other people how to have um Let's go with this first. Can we remove the belief that you cannot be sexual and spiritual because that's the lie? <sighs> and also remove the belief that I cannot be sexual and make money. that I cannot be sensual, sexual and be respected and show you how it feels to be sensual and sexual and be respected by yourself and by the people around you. Hmm. That feels like a relief. using sex passion as a weapon. Can you explain that a bit more, Jane, because I don't understand in what kind of situation you mean there. Ah, uh, using sex as, to prevent love and rejection. I need you to be clear, it's not very clear. Can you write that again for me, please, love? Interesting, being authentic in every meeting. Show you how it feels to be authentic. Do you want to be more authentic? That's what we can do. Hold on. Beautiful. Can we show you how it feels to really be authentic in your um, in meeting a lover? How it feels to be really authentic in your sexual connection, in your communication with lovers. And show you how it feels to feel safe enough to communicate your truth and how it feels to feel safe enough to receive the other person's truth. Remember to say yes if you want to receive this. Sweet, that's a beautiful one. I have to say, recently I've had a really beautiful experience of this opening of, of truth. Um, 
was a lover and really just this radical authentic honesty that I feel is like I'm very healing for us both in very deep levels mm. Jane can you write again oh there you are <sighs> using sex to prevent love okay I covered it anyway leaking it out giving it away instead of owning my own passion okay I'm gonna go a little bit deeper into this Jane, can I do a body scan on you? And I'll go into this a little bit deeper. You're welcome, Kristen, at Tristan. Just write yes in the chat box, Jane, for me. And I'll do a body scan and then I can go deeper and we can really start to shift some stuff. And then we can all benefit from it. Because there's a lot of us who feel we actually use sex to, to push things away. Okay, thanks, Bob. Okay, ready? Okay, so immediately I'm getting abandonment. Can we remove the belief that love leads, leads to abandonment? This is big for all of us, for most humans. <laughs> <laughs> we've had any abandonment issues so can we remove that for all of us I'm offering this to everybody so everybody say yes if you want to remove that belief that love leads to abandonment So what it's showing me is that you want sex to be sacred, but you don't know how. So can we show everyone how it feels to know that love, that sex is sacred and how it feels to engage in sexual acts in a sacred way, in a way that feels sacred, how it feels to experience sacred sex. If you want that, say yes. And can we remove the belief that love leads to being hurt? And instead replace it with the belief that love leads to pleasure. And can we show you how it feels to feel that it's safe to love? And can we remove any be um, belief system that you've picked up that says you must use sex to keep people at a distance and instead show you how it feels to have true intimacy in a sexual connection um, with somebody that you love and that loves you. Say so yes if you want that because that's a biggie for all of us. Oh, beautiful, that's going in so nicely. All right, take some big deep breaths, guys. Well, that was good. That went really quite, that went really deep, right? So beautiful. Did you have any experiences? Sometimes you don't feel anything. Sometimes people feel energy moving through their body. Sometimes people cry. Sometimes people yawn. Sometimes when I'm having very deep healings, I just yawn and yawn and yawn and yawn. And the energy is really shifting. How did you find it? Please pop a comment in the box. 
while you're pop popping your comments in. Um, I have a five-day challenge coming up uh, on the 17th, so it's not far away. It's called Sexy Lovely You. It's free. And it's five days to really recover your sensuality, your self-love, your body confidence. And it's for five days from the 17th. So I'm going to put a link in the comments. Where is it? Hmm. And then you can sign up. Um, as I say, it's completely free free i'm very excited about it i think it's going to be quite a big challenge so it's going to involve me um live streaming um each day i'm going to be using mindset techniques i'm going to be doing theta healing like this i'm going to teach you a ritual to really um, stop negative thinking to really release the past and really step into your best sensual self to really create this momentum of being a sensual self-loving being because self-love is this act of rebellion right because you know there's so much in our society that that counts on us not liking ourselves and so it's really time to take our power back really time to call our power back and show up in the world in a very strong self-loving and self-celebratory way from, from a place in the heart, you know, we know what it looks like for people to celebrate from ego, but I'm talking about self celebratory from the heart, like radical self-acceptance, radical levels of self-love will transform you and release so much pain from the past and really just enable you to drop the dead weight of the mind stories that go on, you know? and just really show up in this radical authenticity like with the cards you know to be this divine passionate being who has absolute authentic truth and you know when you're in this state of being you're very powerful you show up in your life purpose your relationships transform your self-confidence rockets and your experience of your life becomes so much stronger, so much more beautiful. So that's in the comments. Um, if you've got any more questions, please put them below. I can't see any of your comments um, from the healing. Although I know a bunch of you are here because I can see. I'd love to hear about your experiences. No. <laughs> if you've not liked this page, make sure you do. It's Ms. J A Y Diamond. Follow me on Instagram, and that's Lady J A Y Diamond. Uh, my website is jdiamond.net. Obviously, J A Y, my full name. And you can find out there about my men mentorships, um, my courses, uh, all kinds of stuff that I get up to. My um, there's not that much information actually about my book. Um, you yawned a lot, Angela. Yeah, that happens to me. And that's, that's masses of energy shifting. My book is called Abuse to Abundance and it's available on Amazon. And it's a healing handbook for anybody overcoming um, sexual, emotional or physical abuse. Ah, Tristan, you yawned a lot as well. Yeah, it's interesting. Like This never used to happen to me. It's just started in the last 12 months and I yawn, 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 yawn loads. And it means a lot of energy is moving. So this is very good. It means you received a lot tonight. Beautiful. Okay, so is that it? No more sharing? Please share this video. I'd love for it to get to more people so that they can experience. Guaranteed, somebody on your timeline needs this healing. Um, somebody you know, Jane Smith said, yawning, releasing, and feel exhausted. So please do drink um, a good bunch of water after this to really help clear those cells, help clear, get that old energy out of the system. Because actually, although it feels like um, this work is very simple, and it is very simple, it's incredibly deep and incredibly transformative. It actually works on a personal level. It works on a soul level. It works on an ancestral level. And it works on the, uh, the level of the collective, as in the collective consciousness of humanity. We, we take on beliefs from this. So if you, um, you know, if in your... Uh, 
ancestry, you know, and for many women in particular, it wasn't safe to be very sexual or sensual or to be seen in that way. We had to very much stay covered up and stay indoors. Sometimes we carry these beliefs still on an ancestral level, even though we know that we're in 2018 and we're free beings and we now have the vote. On an ancestral level, this, this fear that can be carried. So this work, work cuts through all of this to really free us in a very, very deep way. And so though it, it feels very simple, it's actually very profound. Um, so do drink water, do look after yourself tonight. Namaste, God bless you. <laughs> May we all be happy and free. Catherine, I'm just finishing, so I'm going to end the live video and then you can re-watch it from the beginning. So, share, like, and all of that business. Lots of love. Bye-bye.